And now, marine weather around Alaska. Looking at tonight's weather, we've got low pressure here in the Gulf of Alaska, a new low developing here, moving in toward the Queen Charlotte Islands. So showers mostly along the coast here of the uh, southeast coast, but band of moisture here pulling westward could bring some light snow into western Prince William Sound, maybe even eastern Turnagon Arm, some flurries along and just north of the Alaska Range. Otherwise, gusty northeast winds through the Alaska Range with wind chill advisories there. And uh, winds continue, possibly gusting up to 65 miles an hour in some areas here, nor normally windier areas from Kodiak Island right on up into the Kenai Peninsula, Manuska Valley, Valdez, those areas. And much lighter winds, clear cold temperatures well below zero, anywhere from 35 to 45 below up over the interior. And a break here continues over the Bering Sea under high pressure ahead of the next system, bringing wind and warmer temperatures with uh, snow changing to rain and toward the central Aleutians. That continues to advance slowly eastward tomorrow as this high begrudgingly shifts eastward as well. And uh, that's still going to dominate much of interior Alaska. Another windy cold day here for south central Alaska, below zero temperatures the entire day uh, in the interior up to the Arctic coast. Drying out over the northern panhandle, some clearing and gusty northeast winds, still a chance of snow showers down to the south, but those are gone on Friday. So windy in the north, but dry with partly to mostly sunny skies across the southeast coast. Cold and mostly sunny over interior Alaska. Next system bringing uh, snow and blowing snow into the Pribilof Islands with rain and snow into the Alaska Peninsula and rain along all of the Aleutian chain there, but winds not too bad. And for the coastal water forecast here for the south coast of the Panhandle, looking at east winds at 20 knots, northeast winds 30 to 35 knots, and east northeast 20 to 30 knot winds for the north coast. Lynn Canal, gale warnings, north winds 40 to 50 knots. Stevens Passage, north winds 30 to 45 knots, and Clarence Strait, light southeast winds by comparison at 15 knots with those seas up to 8 feet. And then for Friday, Clarence Strait, northeast at 20, Stevens Passage, north winds 30 knots, 6 foot seas. Gear warnings continue for Lynn Canal, north winds 40 knots, seas 10 feet. Small craft advisories on the south coast here, northeast winds 25 to 30 knots, east, northeast 30 to 35 knots on the central coast and 25 to 35 knots for the north coast. Cook Inlet, small craft advisories tomorrow, north winds 25 to 30 knots, storm warnings, Kamishak Bay northwest at 50, northwest 45 for the Barren Islands, north 45 for the western north Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound down across Middleton Island here, north winds 30 knots, and then eastern north Gulf Coast, northeast winds, 45 knots, gust to 60 knots out of the Copper River Delta. And then for Friday, Prince William Sound, northerly winds, 30 knots, 25 to 40 knot north winds for the uh, eastern North Gulf Coast, the west side here north at 30 knots. And gale warnings for Barren Islands, Kamishak Bay continue for those north to northwest winds at 35 to 45 knots, north 25 for Cook Inlet. Kodiak Island, gale warnings, north winds, 40 to 55 knots tomorrow and north winds or north northwesterlies 20 to 30 knots for the Alaska Peninsula or Bristol Bay north at 25. Those become northeast at 25 for the bay on Friday and for the Alaska Peninsula east to southeast winds or east to northeast winds at 20 to 25 knots and Kodiak Island northwesterlies 30 to 40 knots 6 to 11 foot seas. Eastern Aleutians tomorrow, northeast to southeast winds at 25 to 35 knots. Adak and Atka, southeast winds 30 knots. That pattern all the way over to Kiska Island and west of Kiska, not too much difference, south to southeast winds 30 knots. And then for Friday, south to southwest winds, 25 knots here for the western Aleutians. Adak and Atka, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. And for the eastern Aleutians, South to southwest to southeast winds 20 to 30 knots. And for the Cuscoquim Delta Coast tomorrow, northwesterlies at 20 knots. Yukon Delta Coast west at 15 knots. Light westerly breeze at 10 knots for St. Lawrence Island and Norton Sound. East winds 45 knots, so full gales there for St. Matthew Island and east at 25 for the Perbloffs. 
And then for a Friday, gale warning, St. Paul, St. George, St. Matthew Island. East winds 40 knots, seas 15 to 23 feet. Northeast at 20 knots for the southwest coast here, uh, south of Nunavak Island. Yukon Delta coast east at 20 knots. Norton Sound, northeast 15 and east of 15 for St. Lawrence Island. And gale warnings continue east of Prudhoe Bay to demarcation point for the Beaufort Sea there. West 35 knots, central coast here, west at 10, south 15 for the west coast. And the Chukchi Sea, not too bad. West to southwest winds, 10 to 15 knots. Those become even lighter, east to northeast winds, five to 10 knots for the day Friday there. Western central Arctic coast, southwest at 10. And uh, eastern Beaufort Sea coast, west southwest winds, 15 to 25 knots.